Today, I'm gonna to show you the crazy results when I put two AI image models head to head. Seedream 4.0 just dropped and everyone's going nuts about it. But can it beat Nano Banana at making faces that actually look real? I tested both with the exact same prompts and the results will blow your mind. One model completely failed at simple tasks while the other nailed every single test. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly which AI image tool to use and which one to avoid. So here's what happened. I've been getting tons of messages asking me which AI image model is actually the best. Everyone's talking about Seedream 4.0 because it just launched, but Nano Banana has been quietly crushing it for months. I decided to settle this once and for all. I ran both models through seven brutal tests using the exact same prompts, same settings, same everything. The only difference was the model. What I found shocked me and I'm going to show you every single result so you can see for yourself which one actually wins. But first, let me tell you what makes these models different. Seedream 4.0 is the new kid on the block. It promises high resolution images up to 4K. It's supposed to be amazing at handling multiple reference images, and it claims to have incredible detail. Nano Banana is from the Gemini family. It's been around longer, and it's known for keeping faces consistent. It's really good at editing images and making small changes without messing up the whole picture. Both models are available on OpenArt. That's the platform I use for all my tests. This way, everything stayed consistent and I could track the exact costs and generation times. Now, here's where it gets interesting. I didn't just run a few random tests. I created a scientific method that would reveal the true winner. I measured face similarity using actual AI algorithms. I tracked generation speed. I recorded costs and I got real humans to rate the quality. The first test was simple. Take one person's face and make them smile. Keep everything else the same. This tests the most basic skill. Can the AI change expressions without losing the person's identity? I uploaded a reference photo to OpenArt. Then I ran this prompt on both models. Generate a photorealistic portrait of the same person smiling broadly, teeth visible, hair slightly windblown. Preserve identity and facial proportions. The results, both models actually did really well on this one. Seedream 4.0 created a natural looking smile with visible teeth and the windblown hair effect. Nano Banana also nailed the expression change while keeping the face consistent. This one's honestly too close to call. Both outputs look great, so I want you to comment below and tell me which model you think gave the better result for the smiling portrait test. Team Sea Dream or Team Nano Banana? But that was just test one. But here's where I need to tell you about something that can make you way more money than just making AI images. At my AI profit boardroom, members are using AI to automate their entire businesses. Another member automated their customer service the link is in the description. Now back to the test results. Test two is where things got crazy. I wanted to see how well each model could add objects to a scene, not just paste something on top, actually blend it naturally with proper lighting and shadows. The prompt was this, add a bright red umbrella in the subject's hand standing in light rain, preserve face and body structure while realistically blending the umbrella, raindrops and reflections. Sea Dream 4.0 absolutely crushed this test. The umbrella looked natural, the rain effects were realistic, the lighting was perfect. It nailed the object insertion completely, but Nano Banana, total disaster. It created some weird third hand holding an umbrella like the person suddenly grew an extra arm. It completely failed at basic object placement. This wasn't even close. Sea Dream 4.0 wins test two by a landslide. I had five more tests to run. Test three was the multi-person challenge. This is where most AI models completely fall apart. I uploaded two different faces and asked both models to put them together in a coffee shop scene. The prompt was generate a photorealistic photo of both reference people sitting together at a coffee shop, cups in hand, smiling at the camera, maintain both identities clearly, natural daylight, shallow depth of field, bulky background. Nano Banana nailed this test perfectly. It kept both people looking exactly like themselves. Both faces were distinct and recognizable. The coffee shop setting looked natural. The poses were realistic with cups in hand. It followed the prompt exactly, but Sea Dream 4.0 completely failed. Instead of two different people, it just duplicated me twice. Yeah, it put Julian in the scene twice instead of using both reference faces. That's not what I asked for at all. Total fail. Nano Banana wins test three easily. Test four was style transfer. This is super important because a lot of people want to turn photos into paintings or different art styles. I asked both models to turn a regular photo into a Renaissance oil painting. The prompt was recreate the same person as a Renaissance oil painting portrait, detailed brush strokes, dramatic chiaroscuro, muted background, preserve identity features, eyes, jawline, nose, 
high detail brush texture visible, Nano Banana delivered exactly what I wanted. He created a proper vintage Renaissance style painting. The clothing looked period appropriate. The brush strokes were visible. The dramatic shadows were perfect. It actually transformed the photo into art. Sea Dream 4.0 disappointed me here. Instead of creating a painting, it just put a filter over the original photo. The person was still wearing modern clothes. It didn't really transform the style at all, just looked like a photo with some effects. Slapped on top, Nano Banana takes test 4. Test 5 was motion and action. I wanted to see how well each model could handle dynamic scenes with movement and special effects. The prompt was generate the same person as an action movie hero sprinting through a neon lit street at night with realistic motion blur and rain reflections. Preserve identity and facial features, dramatic rim lighting. This time Sea Dream 4.0 came out on top. The action scene looked incredible. The motion blur was realistic. The neon lighting effects were amazing. The rain reflections looked perfect. It kept my facial features mostly intact too. Nano Banana totally failed this test. It changed my facial features slightly but noticeably. The action scene didn't look as dynamic either. When it comes to complex scenes with lots of effects, Sea Dream definitely has the edge. Sea Dream 4.0 wins test 5. Test 6 was background replacement. This is huge for content creators who want to change locations without losing the subject. The prompt was keep the person exactly the same, but replace the background with a futuristic Tokyo skyline full of neon billboards. Ensure lighting matches subject naturally neon rim reflections. Preserve face identity. This test was super close and I want your help deciding the winner. Both models created amazing futuristic Tokyo backgrounds with neon billboards. Both kept my face looking consistent. The lighting effects were good on both outputs. Comment below and tell me which result you think looks better. Sea Dream 4.0 or Nano Banana. I honestly can't decide on this one. The quality is really close. So here's what I learned after running all six tests. The results were way more mixed than I expected. Each model has clear strengths and weaknesses. Sea Dream 4.0 dominated when it came to complex scenes and object insertion. The umbrella test was a perfect example. It also handled action scenes better with more realistic effects and motion blur. But Sea Dream struggled with multi-person scenes and style transfer. It completely failed the coffee shop test by duplicating me instead of using both reference faces. And the Renaissance painting was just a filtered photo. Nano Banana was the consistency king. It nailed the multi-person scene perfectly. The Renaissance art transformation was spot on. It kept faces looking identical across different scenarios but Nano Banana fell apart on complex object insertion. That third hand holding the umbrella was embarrassing and it couldn't handle action scenes as well as Sea Dream. The score is actually three to two in favor of Nano Banana, but both models won the tests that matched their strengths. The speed results were interesting too. Nano Banana was consistently faster. Average generation time was 3.2 seconds. Sea Dream 4.0 averaged 5.8 seconds. That adds up when you're making lots of images. Like, Cost-wise, they were pretty similar on open art. Both used about the same number of credits per image, so speed is the real difference here. Here's my recommendation. If you're making generic images for websites or social media and don't need specific faces, use Sea Dream 4.0. The quality is incredible and the details are amazing. If you're working with client photos or need to keep someone looking like themselves, use Nano Banana. The face consistency is unbeatable. For content creators, I'd say Nano Banana is probably better. Most of the time you want your audience to recognize you across different images. For graphic designers making artwork, Sea Dream might be better. The visual quality is just stunning, even if the faces change. But here's the thing, both models are getting better fast. Sea Dream will probably fix the face consistency issues. Nano Banana will probably improve the visual quality. This is just where they are right now. The real winner might be you if you know how to use AI tools. To make money. That's what I teach in my free AI money lab. I'll show you exactly how to use AI to generate leads, automate your business and make more money. You'll get over 50 free AI tools, 200 chat GPT prompts for SEO, real case studies of people making thousands with AI, plus access to our community of AI entrepreneurs. I'll also show you my complete system for using AI to get more customers. This includes the exact workflows I use in my seven figure agency. The link is in the description. It's completely free and you can join right now. I also wanna mention my AI profit boardroom again. This is where serious entrepreneurs go to scale with AI. We have weekly calls, done for you templates, and a community of people actually making money with AI. Members are automating everything from customer service to content creation. They're using AI agents to handle sales calls. They're building AI powered websites that convert like crazy. If you wanna take your business to the next level with AI, 
that's where you need to be. The link is in the description. Now let me know in the comments which model you think won. Are you team Seedream for the amazing visual quality or team Nano Banana for the perfect face consistency? Also tell me what AI image tests you want to see next. I'm always looking for new models to compare and new use cases to explore. If this video helped you understand these AI models better, smash that like button. It really helps more people find these comparisons. And subscribe if you want to stay updated on the latest AI tools and techniques. I test new models as soon as they drop, so you don't have to waste time and money figuring out which ones actually work. The AI world is moving fast. New models launch every week. Some are game changers, others are total flops. I'll keep testing them so you know which ones deserve your attention. Remember to check out the AI Money Lab if you want to start making money with AI and join the AI Profit Boardroom if you're ready to scale your business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.